I want to talk about small businesses as well. You see, when we talk about the different plans that are in place for small businesses, we have the different SEPs, the simple accounts. But now, for the first time, we have the Roth simple and the Roth SEP. So the simple account is where we can have the employee and the employer make contributions. The SEP IRA accounts are where the employer can only make contributions, but it's always been on a pre-tax basis. But now we can start directing that on a tax-free Roth IRA basis. So we pay tax today on the money, and then it goes into the accounts and it starts growing tax-free. That is another really good element because when we have differences of taxation in years, maybe you have some stock options that have matured. We're going to have a higher tax burden this year. So we may want to change the elements of where we're planning for contributing to. In a future year, maybe we don't have those. So we can go into the Roth portion of it and really start to put more money away into the tax-free elements. So that's a really nice part of what the new laws have provided. Okay, well, let's keep going here. 401ks are now for sole proprietors as well. So this is something that if the plan is established, generally up till now, you've not been able to put money away for prior year contributions. But if the plan is established, you can now put money away for last year. And this is done in, if we're done really in the first couple months of the new year, starting the new 401k plan for you as a sole proprietor. So definitely take a look at this because there's going to be some great provisions there. Okay, and then last element that I wanted to bring up as part of this is that we have some startup credits that can be given for you to open up a new plan, a brand new plan for your business as well. And up to 100,000, excuse me, 100% of the cost to start that plan may be able to be credited against those startup costs. Okay water down mandates with auto enrollment. So again, if you if you have this account established as you as the employer, then what this is saying now is there's all the ambiguity has been put away and we can start it auto enrolling your employees at 3% all the way up to 10%. And then we can put a 1% increase in there that goes up to 15%. So just again, know those rules as part of it, how that can pertain to money going aside into the retirement plans for your employees. Well, one more element here, and I call these to make these stop changes because there's a lot that's in this. And this was one of the more massive changes to all the planning that has gone into retirement planning with respect to Congress. And one more element here that I wanted to really touch on here as part of this is the starter 401k plans. You see, we talked about the simple that is just like a small 401k, but a lot less paperwork. And uh, because of that, you can't put away as much money into those types of accounts, but the employee and the employer can contribute to that. Well, the SEP IRA is only allowing the employer to contribute, but now a third type of 401k has come out. It's called the starter 401k. And this is something that you can establish for your companies and only allow the employees to contribute. You do not have to have the employer contributing to these plans. 